to Dirt Live Off-Road Racing Show. And here's your host, George Antill. Hey, thanks everyone for out there joining us here in the beautiful downtown Reno. Uh, the guy next to me right here, if you don't know who he is, the owner of Rigid Industries, Damon Flippo. Damon, great day out here. Uh, an excellent day for a wonderful race in Reno again. Well, we're live, just went live right now. We're going to be live here for the rest of the afternoon. If you just tuned in, if you are watching right now, tell your friends, call everybody, and let them know. We're going to show you what's going on. This is a new deal in Reno. Last year we had a race here, the HDRA race. You were part of that last year. This year they decided to do a Dirt Live Expo, and that's what you're seeing right here behind us. So a lot of vendors uh, up and down here, you know, rigid. You know, Magnum Inc., we got Rugged Radios down the street, we got Slime over here. It's just a great group of people here on Vendor Row, and we'll be here today, Thursday, and Friday, Damien. Exactly. Uh, Rogers HDRA allowing us to come up here, race on his land. Like I said, we did it last year as a fast race course, a very challenging one, kind of like Baja, unlike most of the ones we've done here in the States. So it's a good time. Uh, as the week progresses, it'll get busier and busier. We're going to have live freestyle shows by the Monster Energy team. They'll be out here later on. We'll have them out here tomorrow and Friday. We'll have them at the race course on Saturday. We'll be live all day for the start and finish of the race, which is a beautiful facility outside of Reno, about 20 miles east of here. And it's a complete complex. You know, Reno's you know, complex. It's an incredible uh, site that Rogers put together out there, the lighting. And it, you can sit out there and watch the whole race 12, 15 miles of the course is you can see right from the plateau. So I know we'll have fun out there this weekend with you and uh, enjoy yourself out there. I know Rigid, a big part of the racing series, along with the big sponsor for SCORE and HDRA. Yeah, we came on uh, this year with SCORE, last year with HDRA. We are here again. Uh, like I said, I think it's just a great, Rogers put a great program together. This year with HDRA and SCORE teaming up, it's brought some great names, you know, the Langleys, Cops Racing, BJ Baldwin, of course, a personal buddy of mine, um, Cameron Steele, I mean, the list goes on and on. So they're a great bunch of Monster Energy guys, a bunch of people up here. Come out, get autographs, see the trucks, and thanks, George, for everything you do for us. Yeah, the, the race will start in the morning, but it'll go through the night. Oh, yeah. So some of the guys will be running those lights. The, the, the better guys like BJ and, uh, you know, the Herps and all them will probably finish right before dark. And uh, some of the other guys that run your lights in class 1600, class 3000, you've got them every class, somebody's running rigid lights. Yes, we cover every class. We've got uh, sponsored racers and everything from bike to truck to buggies. You know, last year my son raced here in his class 2000. I think he finished at two o'clock in the morning, so he definitely needed light. You gotta have those lights after the sun goes down. Pretty dark and it cools down. It's nice up here. Might be a little sunny out here today. We're sitting about 90. A little bit of wind out here, kind of nice. Uh, a lot better than Vegas at 115. Uh, of course, you guys down at the beach, uh, you know, that's great. You're probably sitting in 70 degree weather and uh, beautiful. But we're up here having a great time, getting ready for a great racing weekend. Uh, the whole show is going to cover, you can see on the camera right there, folks, people walking up and down Vendor Road. They, what they did is they blocked off all the streets here in Reno in the main street. And this is where it's all going to happen all week. Plus, on Friday, we'll have all the racers. You know, it's a different race, uh, Damien. The racers get to park their vehicles all up and down this road. It's not like your normal contingency where you push your race car through. Correct. The tech guys come to them. Exactly, and for, for people, the spectators, that's a lot more because you actually get more time to walk over, take a look at the vehicle, meet the driver. I mean, it's, just, it's a better setup for sure. We're gonna have a lot of fun on Friday, so don't forget to tune in. Thursday, we're gonna have qualifying tomorrow. Um, we'll probably be out there in the morning. We'll get that all to you and we'll be able to see that sometime tomorrow afternoon. We'll have the qualifying footage and the results for you before Thursday night. Thursday night we have a wet seat t-shirt contest. I'm sure you'll be there. I will be. At the Silver Legacy. I, you, I, I hear, I, don't I think you're a judge maybe. All right. So we know Carlos is a judge. So we're going to do that tomorrow night. That'll be Thursday night. We have Friday all day contingency and then Saturday the race, and then the awards will be here on Sunday, right where we're here downtown. Pretty cool. There's a monster party going on right here, I believe. Yeah, monster party will be here too. All right, All right we're right. gonna let you go, buddy. You got work to do. Good. 
Good luck, guys. All the races be safe. We'll see you out here. All right. We're going to bring up another gentleman. Come on up. I think it's Tyson. Tyson, come on up, buddy. Happy to be, oh, let me shake hands here. Sorry about that. Losing our mic. And no worries. Tyson Muhlenberg with Tesco Technologies. How are you doing today? Great. And uh, we, let's let everybody know what's Tesco and what's it all about. And what you're doing right now, everybody at home, you're watching us live, courtesy of these guys. Um, they're beaming a satellite feed down from a building right here and providing us internet service. We are. We actually uh, did a point-to-point -point link off of Circus Circus in El Dorado down here to make sure you guys are covered wirelessly here. Out at the race course, we set up a whole other network so everything can be streamed live back to the hotels and online at HGTV. We appreciate what you're doing, Tyson, and uh, I know your whole group, uh, we're out here all weekend and we'll definitely take care of promote you guys. And uh, if people want to get a hold of you, how do they do that? Tesco.com, T-E-S-S-C-O.com. You guys are out of Reno, and you're the largest in the world. We're the largest in the United States, second largest in the world. Uh, we're out of Baltimore, Maryland, and Reno, Nevada, and uh, Texas as well. Wow, that covers the, pr pretty much the country, you know? For sure. Uh, we try to make sure we can reach every one of our customers with any needs they need wireless technology-wise. Well, we sure appreciate it because it's going to help us out. and It's going to let the fans be able to see the racing going on all day on Saturday, uh, plus all the events that are going on here today in you know, with this Dirt Live Expo. For sure, and we're going to continue this on hopefully down through the Baja 1000, the 500, and the 250 as well. Yeah, we want to spend a lot of time with you. You know, you're going to be with us. So Great. down there at the 1000, we definitely covered that 16 hours live, and uh, we'd love to have you. We also got the race coming up in September up at the Valley of Fire at the Indian Moapa Reservation. Well, we'll make sure we're there to help you guys out and support everything that uh, SCORE, HDRA, and Dirt Live needs. All right, well, we got some bikes right here you can see. I think your son is helping us with a camera. And which, is this, this his bike? Yep. This is, we're standing on his bike, leaning on it. And uh, his name? Jared Tadman. And you guys race the Moran local, which, you know, Moran has in Vegas, and then Moran is also southern part, and you guys are the northern part of Moran. And that's correct. Uh, my daughter, son, and myself, and a whole bunch of us race all in northern Nevada. We do the... Uh, Sorry, Las Vegas to uh, Reno, Nevada. Uh, Vegas to oh, nervous. Vegas to, Reno. Vegas to Reno. Thank you. Cool for you because you get to you're finishing your at your home. It is. We end up here after a long day of race, racing or break, and one or the other. <laughs> Everybody else got to travel the other way, heading home. Exactly. exactly. All right. Well, Tyson, thank you very much for what you guys are doing, and uh, we'll hang out with you. We'll have you more up here on the live show. We appreciate everything you've done for us. All right. Thank you for having us out here. Everybody, race safe and have a good time. All right, you heard it from the man. These guys really helping us out, doing a great job. Brent, why don't you come up real quick, and we'll get Brent Fenimore, who is in charge of this whole op. What you're seeing out here this weekend, Brent has put together with some great people. You know, it, it wouldn't happen with all the other people, but Brent, the idea came around from last year, I think, because we, I, you, every, everyone here last year is amazing. I've never been to a race anywhere that I've attended in the last seven years that the town opened up to the racing. Well, yeah, that's very important to all of us, and, and returning to the community is, is extremely important if you want to continue to be invited to attend here. So what we came up with was an atmosphere of business to consumer that benefits you know, the businesses in town, but also opens the eyes of the locals to all the opportunities and the equipment and everything that's right here. So I think it's, it's kind of like a version of uh, off-road SEMA is what we're really looking for long term. You know, start this year, next year it'll get bigger, each year it gets bigger, the more people start finding out about it. When they see this and get to see this, and you know, the, the guys that have showed up this year go home and tell their friends that are also, you know, people that build off-road parts in the world, hey, you really missed it, man. You should have been to Reno. Incredible three days we got to sit out there and show people. Because what it's all about in promoting your product is showcasing it right out here to the normal public. Oh, absolutely. Long term, you know, our goal is to be able to do demos out at the property. And, you know, we were hoping to put that together this year and it just couldn't all come together, of course, the first year. But, you know, having, you know, 100,000 acres, 18 miles from here that we can have all the off-road equipment out there. And you can look at it down here, enjoy the, the shows and whatnot, jump on a shuttle, go out and go for a demo right here is, uh, I don't think you can do that anywhere. I know, it's incredible. And if you're watching live here in Reno, come on down and join us today. We do have some tickets 
we're giving away, and uh, you get some free tickets to the race on Saturday. That's pretty incredible. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, we've got a great spectator area. Um, you can see 12 or 14 miles of the trail coming in from all different directions. Uh, we got the motorcycles coming right through. We've got the stunt team's going to be doing backflips and every kind of flip right there. Um, we got the hospitality suite. So I don't think there's a, an off-road desert race in the world that you can see all the action from one place like what we have. Exactly. So we'll see it all week, Brent. We got a busy week today. It was just kind of an opening to the to the uh, Dirt Live Expo, and tomorrow is going to get bigger. And then tomorrow we have qualifying. Tomorrow night we have the monster. We have a party here. We also have the wet T-shirt contest over. And I know Damon wants to be a judge. You know, everybody wants to be a judge. Oh, I got lots of judges signed up. <laughs> I got a lot more judges than I got uh, wet tershitis. Um, but I think we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I mean, you know, we can't have them all. So, but thanks for what you're doing, Brent. You know, Brent, if you're out there watching, you're interested. We have six teams this weekend racing in the wide open class and uh, the BC class, and it's really cool. And so, if you're interested, get a hold of Brent and the guys at WideOpen.com and check it out. We'll be playing the the uh, commercials all week, showing you guys what it's all about, how to get a hold of us, and they have the tours right out here at Reno on that same property, and they're running all summer. Oh, absolutely. We, uh, we run from mid-April till mid-October here. Um, everything from two hours up to two days. So, you know, we've, we do a lot of corporate stuff, but we also do a lot of individual groups, couples, all kinds of fun stuff. It's an amazing piece of property out there and uh, just beautiful. And if you like Mexico, we can take you down to Mexico. We do Ensenada or Cabo. In the, when, when it gets cold here and it starts snowing up here in Reno, then we all jam down to Cabo, and down there it's like summer in January, February, March, April, November, December, so we spend the time in Mexico. Oh, absolutely, and you know, it's amazing how many people flock that direction, George. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's just a jaunt away. I mean, literally four hours from now, I'm sitting down in Cabo San Lucas and sitting on the beach one day out riding with wide open. You know, you can't beat it. It's incredible. You surf, ride in the cars, have lunch, go on a couple day tour where you, you start out in Cabo, you drive up to Toto Santos and have lunch and a beautiful town and you go around a little bit in town and La Paz and then you head over to La Paz for dinner, spend the night in La Paz, turn around, go back the next day, finish it up in Cabo, go surfing the next day or whatever you want to do, go hang out in uh, Baja Cantina, but it's all cool. Yeah, yeah come by and see us. We're going to have a a little display over here with the car and whatnot and love to get all you guys off road all right you heard it from the man brent fenimar from wide open also all right we're gonna get some more gentlemen over here thank you we got some guys over here with us the sat phone store we want to thank them for all what you did at tell everybody your name that's phil sexton with uh whenever communications also we do business at satellite phone store well, we want to thank you, shake your hand, because the people watching out there right now, 16 hours of live streaming, you guys helped us a lot out there for what we were doing. That's what, that's what we're trying to do and help out with the score. And uh, your race committee is uh, bringing the video back so everyone can see it around the world. Uh, we also rent handhelds for tracking the cars and uh, public safety for the, for the drivers. You can also rent um, a device that goes on top like a satellite dish you can mount on top of your rig and you can rent one of those and have your internet right there. Correct. Uh, it does uh, voice, data, streaming, video. It's got a built-in Wi-Fi hotspot uh, and it's very small that can go on the roof, plugs in by a cigarette lighter and a five-minute install. And it has magnetic deal so it just clips right on top of the roof. Correct. We've got it right here in our booth uh, just behind me that if anybody wants to come over and look at it. You'll be here all week. We'll be here throughout Friday, and then you'll be out at the race course with us on Saturday. Yes, sir. All right, well, thank you very much. We appreciate what you guys done. The, also, the Sat Phone Store also in San Diego. Well, we're going to take a little bit of a break. We're going to flip over to the camera and show you what's going on downtown. You'll see all the people walking around. But I want to thank everyone for joining in. We're going to be live for the rest of the afternoon. And don't forget, tomorrow we're going to have the qualifying and the results. We're going to have, hopefully, 
we might get some footage from the wet t-shirt contest and we can show you that on Friday and then tomorrow night we're gonna have a party right here where we're standing with the Monster Energy girls and a Monster Energy party. So we'll be able to show you that with the drivers. We're gonna have BJ Baldwin, we're gonna have the Herps, all the drivers from Monster Energy will be here with us and we can talk to some of those guys. So enjoy yourselves. We've got a great week of racing with the cars, the trucks, the motorcycles. Don't forget the AMA National Heron Hound Series will be out here racing on Saturday along with the Reno 500. That's gonna be incredible. Kirk Caselli off his recent win in the Dakar Challenge race won that thing and beat all the Europeans. We'll be here on Saturday racing for KTM. George Antill here in Reno, Nevada, enjoying the nice weather. And I say it's nice because it's 30 degrees, probably less than it was in Vegas when I left the other day. All right, check out some of the great footage we got. We'll show you some uh, footage that we have, which uh, Monster Energy has put out for some of their teams this year at the South Point race we had in January, along with San Felipe. Yeah, Tuba Arts, John gave us some footage from last year at the Reno race here of Mike Mitchell, and we might play that for you. We're gonna play some videos that we have that we've been showing throughout our shows that we do every Tuesday night. So stick around, enjoy yourself. We're gonna to try to find some more interesting people I mean, right now I look across the street, I see Reno's finest. We can bring Reno 911 over here and talk to those guys, so, all right. Boulders out there on the edge of the course. If you don't stay in the tracks, I think that you're going to be in. 